What you're watching right now isn't a human playing a video game. It's an AI. And before you scroll past thinking, I've seen gaming bots before, stop. Because what Google DeepMind just released changes everything we thought we knew about the path to AGI. This is SEMA 2, and it's not just playing games, it's learning, reasoning, improving itself, and doing something that should terrify and excite you in equal measure. It's teaching itself to think. This represents a quantum leap in AI capabilities that most people are completely missing. While everyone's debating whether AGI will arrive in five years or 10, Google just quietly dropped something that suggests we might already be watching it emerge in real time. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's what makes SEMA 2 fun fundamentally different from any gaming AI you've seen before. Unlike previous systems that accessed game code directly through APIs, SEMA 2 plays exactly like you and I do. It sees the pixels on screen, it uses a keyboard and mouse. It has to figure things out by observing and trying, just like a human would when learning a new game. But here's where it gets wild. SEMA 2 isn't just following instructions anymore. Powered by Google's Gemini models, it can now think about its goals and plan multi-step strategies, converse with users, and explain its reasoning, improve itself through trial and error, generalize skills across games it's never seen before, even play in completely new worlds generated on the fly by AI. Google DeepMind states this plainly in their announcement. This is a significant step in the direction of artificial general intelligence. Let me show you why they're not exaggerating. The first version of SEMA released just 20 months ago could perform about 600 basic skills across multiple games. Simple stuff like turn left, climb the ladder, open the map. SEMA 2, it's operating on an entirely different level. Watch this comparison. On the left, SEMA 1 trying to follow the instruction, go up and slightly left to the cave and mine some coal. It struggles, wanders, fails to complete the task. On the right, SEMA 2 reasons through the problem. I'll head toward the cave up and left to find some coal. It navigates complex terrain, finds the cave, identifies the coal, and completes the mining operation smoothly. Here's another one. The instruction is simple. Find a campfire. SEMA 1 gets lost in the woods, confused and unable to complete the task. SEMA 2 looks around, spots the campfire in the environment, and approaches it directly. Mission accomplished. But the truly stunning thing? Look at these performance metrics. When humans are asked to perform tasks across these game environments, they achieve about a 76% success rate. SEMA 1 was at 31%, clearly inferior to human players. SEMA 2, it jumped to 65% in just 20 months. And on completely new games it had never seen before, like Mind Dojo and ASKA, SEMA 1 was at essentially 0 to 3% success rate. SEMA 2, 13 to 14% on these novel environments. Now you might be thinking, okay, it's better at video games, so what? Here's what you're missing. This isn't about gaming, it's about learning itself. Video games are perfect training grounds because they contain the fundamental building blocks of intelligence, navigation in complex 3D spaces, tool use and manipulation, goal-oriented planning, reasoning under uncertainty, collaboration and communication, adaptation to novel situation. Every time SEMA 2 learns to mine in Minecraft, drive in a racing game, or build in a city simulator, it's not learning that specific game. It's learning transferable cognitive skills. Here's where it gets existential. That digital brain capable of mastering a thousand video games? Put it in a robot. To the AI, the real world is just game number 1001. It's still perceiving pixels, except now they're from a camera instead of a render engine. 
it's still sending commands, except now they're moving actuators instead of a game character. If this A I can generalize between video games and SEMA 2 clearly can, those skills transfer to the physical world. Google DeepMind is explicit about this. SEMA 2 offers a strong path toward application in robotics. The skills it learned, from navigation and tool use to collaborative task execution, are fundamental building blocks for the physical embodiment of intelligence needed for future AI assistance in the physical world. But here's the part that should make you pause and really think about what's happening. SEMA 2 has achieved something that researchers have been chasing for years, autonomous self-improvement. Here's how it works. SEMA 2 uses Gemini in three roles simultaneously. One, as the agent that plays the game. Two, as the task setter that gives itself instructions. Three, as the reward model that grades its own performance. It's creating its own training data, setting its own goals, and evaluating its own progress. After learning from initial human demonstrations, SEMA 2 can then teach itself entirely new skills in games it's never seen before, with zero additional human input. Then, and this is crucial, its own experience becomes the training data for the next, even more capable version of itself. This is the reinforcement learning feedback loop we've seen with narrow AI systems like AlphaGo and AlphaZero. Systems that, when allowed to self-play and learn from scratch, eventually surpassed any human capability. Except now, this self-improvement capability exists within a generally intelligent system one that can reason, converse, and operate across any environment you place it in. Do you see what's happening here? We're watching the emergence of open-ended learning, an AI that doesn't need us to tell it what to learn next. Now here's where things get truly science fiction. Google also announced Genie 3, an AI that can generate entirely new, playable 3D worlds from a single image or text prompt. You can describe a fantasy landscape and Genie 3 will create a fully interactive environment you can navigate using arrow keys. And SEMA 2 can play in these generated worlds. Think about what this means. You have an AI that can create unlimited training environments on demand, and you have another AI that can learn from all of them, building an ever-expanding repertoire of skills and knowledge. This is the secret formula. AI agents plus unlimited simulations equals exponential capability growth. We're not talking about decades of carefully curated training data anymore. We're talking about an AI that can generate its own training grounds and then master them faster than we can watch. There's a famous concept in AI research called the bitter lesson, articulated by Rich Sutton. In plain language, it says this, in the long run, the most powerful AI systems come from methods that learn automatically from their environments and data, not from humans hand coding clever rules or domain expertise. Every time we've tried to shortcut this process by building in human knowledge and heuristics, we've been beaten by systems that just learned from raw experience and computation. SEMA 2 is the bitter lesson vindicated at the frontier of AGI research. We're not programming intelligence anymore. We're creating environments where intelligence can teach itself and that self-taught intelligence is now approaching and in some domains beginning to exceed human capability. Look at that performance graph again. SEMA 1 at 31%, humans at 76%, SEMA 2 at 65%. Some people look at this and say, see, humans are still better, but they're missing the trajectory. Draw the line forward. Do you really think SEMA 3 will stop just under the human baseline? SEMA 4 will hit some magical ceiling? We've seen this pattern before. In 2012, AI was worse than humans at image classification. Then it crossed the human performance line and kept going. We saw it with Go, with protein folding, with code generation, with mathematics. There's no asymptote at human performance. These systems don't politely stop just before reaching our capabilities out of respect. They blow right past. The uncomfortable truth is this. SEMA 2 can't play video games as well as humans can. Yet, would you bet that SIMA 3 won't?
What about SIMA4? So what does this actually mean for the world you're living in right now? First, if you're a knowledge worker, understand this. The same learning capabilities SEMA2 is demonstrating in virtual worlds apply to your job. An AI that can learn to navigate complex 3D games by observation, can learn to navigate complex software by observation. Your operating system is just another game to master. Second, for anyone building businesses or careers, the automation cliff is real and it's approaching faster than almost anyone realizes. The question isn't, will AI be able to do this? The question is, how long until the self-improving AI learns to do this better than me? Third, for parents and educators, we're raising a generation that will come of age in a world where human cognitive labor may not be the primary economic resource. The skills that matter are shifting under our feet. I titled this video, Did AGI Just Happen? I want to be clear, I'm not saying SEMA 2 is AGI, it's not. It still struggles with long horizon tasks. It has memory limitations. It can't yet match human performance across the board. But what I am saying is this, we may be watching AGI emerge, not as a single aha moment, but as a gradual crossing of thresholds we didn't even know were significant until we'd passed them. When an AI can learn any game, reason about its goals, improve itself without human guidance, and transfer those skills to the physical world through robotics, at what point do we stop calling it narrow AI and start calling it something else? The future isn't coming. It's already here. It's just not evenly distributed yet. And the ones who understand that, the first movers who recognize what SEMA 2 actually represents, they're going to shape what comes next. I'm Julia McCoy, and I'll see you in the next one. The rabbit hole keeps getting deeper. Subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Because if SEMA 2 is any indication, the pace of change is about to accelerate beyond what most people can even comprehend. Let's navigate this together. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AIR and D-Labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.